Hi everyone, a lot of you might not know this, but uh, I am a dyslexic person. So it's been a dream of mine all of my life to actually get out there and start to be able to help kids, parents, anyone that has got dyslexia, doesn't fully understand dyslexia, um, that it is actually just a difficulty in seeing words generally on, on a piece of paper. Now, it doesn't mean that you're dumb by any means, uh, and obviously people can be incredibly successful who are dyslexic. So I sat down with a group of parents for the first time ever the other day at Spelt, and, uh, and it was great because they allowed me to talk to this, these parents that really um, only one of them was dyslexic themselves, and the rest of them actually didn't really understand what their kids were going through. So I did a quite a long presentation with them, but you know, the thing that really blew them away the most was when I showed them this actual um, example of what dyslexics see. So the big thing that most um, people don't understand is that dyslexic people are very different and every single one of them sees something completely unique to the other when they are reading. And what a lot of non-dyslexics don't understand is that when a dyslexic person looks at a page, they may well see this. Now, hopefully you've got this on a big screen and you'll get to be able to understand that, you know, if that's what you saw when you were reading a page, you'd understand that that is a really difficult thing to try and decipher. Now, luckily, that's not what I uh, experience when I read a page. Um, this is a little bit of what I see when I read a page and guys and girls, this is pretty cool if you're not dyslexic and you've heard people talk about you know the words and the letters on the page move when i read then you get a bit of a sense from this as to what dyslexic people may experience um, now this is obviously a very difficult thing to read if you're a non-dyslexic but just take a little bit of time to feel a little bit of empathy now when you are um, seeing a dyslexic person they're saying oh it's more difficult for me than you this is a really interesting one because my personal experience with dyslexia is um, when I get to the end of a sentence, I find it difficult to then get back to the next sentence. So it takes a lot of uh, concentration to make sure that you know you are a good reader. Now I learned to read quite late in life because the school system, um, I fell through the gaps there. When I eventually learned to read in my twenties, um, I had to spend a huge amount of time catching up. Now have a look at this. So this is unbelievable. If this is what your dyslexic friend or someone that you know with dyslexia is experiencing, you can see that that would be very difficult to read a book or decipher words. Mine is nowhere near as bad as that, but certainly the left-hand side there, that swirling sensation, that's what I experience. Um, but this just gives you a little bit of an example of what dyslexic people may experience. And uh, now that you've seen it, hopefully, you'll feel a little bit more understanding the fact that they need a little bit more time, they can read, they can learn to actually decipher these unbelievable messages and become excellent in business, excellent in art, excellent in just about anything that you can imagine. So um, I will be talking a little bit more about dyslexia in the future and if anyone has got kids with dyslexia, um, please show them this and let them know that they themselves can be incredibly successful human beings um, like I feel like I am because I overcame the fact that uh, I felt stupid at school and, um, and really now, uh, re really you get to see things in a totally different way being a dyslexic person.